end of the summer I probably have my feet up with a drink smoke We with all my brothers, don't worry about a thing, I got it covered Laced up, looking like a good day to go and get this cake up Can only play around for a minute or two Sit and wait, watch the moon, blow it up like blues What it is, cracking jokes on each other, what gets? Don't be falling through, I know you think about giving in I got the trees blowing in the wind with the clouds blowing over sunny days where you been. No one left to talk to, I've been really at a last for you. Let you decide, let me know what you wanna do. Whenever call me, walk my ass to class. I watch you leave it so calmly. Tell me how it is, I think you'll honestly got me. Possibly five ways to entertain myself, I still think it. You constantly, what you thinking? Floating dads, I bet they couldn't sink it. Butterflies and rainy days couldn't sink my spirit. What you try to do with all that energy? There's a certain type of mystic in the air when you're next to me, so bright and sunny. Early morning's just my tea and honey Can call you up and it won't make you love me I'm floating, but to the side I got it duly noted And I can really focus, I hope you really notice See if I hold it back, I'll end up exploding And you don't wanna see that, I see your life is golden See is that here to go, I know you really like my CD Over by the Yorktown area, having some fun yeah. Having a lot of fun, riding around And so my bike doesn't give me any warnings, no signs, no Um no warnings it literally just goes bang and so you might be wondering bang and i'm like yes bang the engine did not seize <laughs> caveat that Some very bad things happen so i was riding along i was shifting from second to third no big deal we're doing about 30 so i'm about like 4,000 rpm and so i pulled the clutch in literally like this and go click starting to let out on the throttle or let out on the clutch so pretty much the clutch is fully disengaged now and the bike just goes thump okay and it goes thump while the drive train is still spinning so if you can imagine that that means my back tire my back tire started squealing so i pull my back pull my clutch in and so we're, i was doing 30 by the time i got my clutch in it had used to take so much momentum out of the uh, bike that I was only doing 20 miles an hour so so I try to go restart the bike and I'm like yo what the hell you ain't supposed to do that so I'm a little curious to find out why so I had, I had actually get picked up last night after it broke so this is my timing chain this is known as the vroom chain Without that really important chain there, my bike doesn't go, well, vroom. I had to actually get picked up last night after it broke. So this is my timing chain. This is known as the vroom chain. Without that really important chain there, my bike doesn't go, well, vroom. So, yeah. So, this all stems from one, two, two of the most single important bolts to this bike belong to this gear. This is called a timing cam gear. The cam fits right in the middle of here, and it spins it. And it spins the cam so the valves open well. When I took the valve covers off yesterday, this was literally dangling on the side of the cam. You know, disengaged. No big deal. Big deal, actually. So, I, uh, I looked around, saw the timing chain was still on the back, but had slipped off the front right up there, if you can see. So it was just literally sitting here, and I'm like... Okay, it's not a broken timing chain, which is good because we were talking that like if this was a broken timing chain, that means I have to pretty much get a new bike. And that was one of the things I was not happy to hear because like this is my baby. Honda this Honda has been with me, okay, only for a year, but it's been on this planet for 35 years. Like it's been beaten and beaten and abused, left for dead sabotaged and left for dead so you know this bike has a lot of sentiment sentimental value and so when I was told that you know 
if this is bad as we think it is, it's going to be a new bike. And I'm like, oh, no, this is my... I love the sound of this engine. It's a V4. I love it. And, and I can understand a lot of you in the comments are going to go, why don't you just buy another V4? If I, if I buy another V series engine, it's going to be a V-twin. It's simpler. It's not as... Tor it's Okay, it's not going to be the same, but it's not as complicated as one of the most revolutionary engines on the face of this earth. So, yeah. Anyway, so let me get back into this. So this is the, uh, this is the good cam cap. This is the bad cam cap. So, you see this? It's been eaten. Well, yeah, eaten will, eaten will survive. Which then takes me to this lovely fellow called a camshaft. You can see one cam hole where, you know, the bolts go through. There's no bolt associated with this cam right now. It is somewhere inside there. I don't know where there is, but it's in there. It's probably at the bottom of the oil pan, in all honesty. And then there's this side. There's a bolt in there. Well, whatever that is, what's left of it. So... The, this bolt backed out first. And then this bolt started to back out and then got grabbed by something. Most likely, this feller. And sheared off. And went down inside the there. <laughs> All of it ends up down inside the side there, which is not good. So it shears off and goes down inside the side there. And I'm like, well, shit. Now, that's... That's bad enough. But then realizing that when it came loose, it slapped. Chain slap is one of the most worst things ever because chain slaps, chain slap slaps everything in that it comes into contact with, which in this case was the oil pipe spraying oil to my cam lobes and everything like that. So that's fucked. Then my chain guard, which actually doesn't actually need to be replaced. But this is where it, 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 tried to, it tried to get free. It tried to walk out of there. But luckily enough, the kit, oh my god, that actually took almost all of that out. That's a good, good chain guard. So what does this mean for the bike? Well... Let me give you a little backstory of why this happened. It belongs to the dude. The problem occurred because the dude inside this helmet talking to you didn't put Loctite on those bolts. Let me explain why. So, when my, when my head gasket is blue, I did the rear head at school in my, in my auto tech class. Not a bad thing to do. One problem. Don't distract the person who's doing very delicate engine work. You might be wondering, distract? Yeah, I mean, don't yell Kyle and call my name out while I'm in the middle of doing this. Because this is because there was no Loctite on those bolts. Because there's no Loctite on those bolts, there was nothing stopping it from coming out besides just torque and tightness. Well, torque and tightness doesn't cut it nowadays. It needs Loctite. These two are these two bolts were the most single important things to this bike. It does not matter if you have it all together. If those bolts are not where they're supposed to be, there, there's nothing. You don't have anything. You don't have a bike. You don't have anything. You just have a piece of shit. If that makes sense. So, yeah. So let me let me go up to the front head. The front head here, as I'm. Oh, you know, I'm going to just lie on the ground. It's actually fine. But we're still going to take that precaution. We're going to take that bolt out that is upset there. You won't see it. But there's another uh, gap. Not gap. What's it called? Bolt. That will protect that. So that's going to come out. We're going to relock tight those. And we're going to make sure that that all is good. 
Now, you might be wondering, how are we going to get the bolts out from the, ah, damn it, from the bottom of the engine? Well, thank God, sorry, all bikes have oil pans. This actually might be too close for you guys. I'm going to take out the oil pan right up here. Which means I gotta drain all the oil. God damn it. Uh, it looks to be a rubber seal. I think that's a rubber gasket. That's awesome. Hopefully, that rubber gasket will be okay. So I can take it out. So, yeah. This is my bike right now. Now, granted, in light of the situation, I'm lucky I was not on 495. 66, Route 50, Route 7, Route 1, GW Parkway, Spout Run. Good thing I was literally on a residential street when this happened. Because if I had been on 495, 66, 50, Route 1, Route 7, GW, Spout Run, or any of the other somewhat big roadways... We would have been doing 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 80. Uh, however fast traffic would have been going, I would have been going. And so, not to make light of this, because I made light of it to my dad. And he was just like, oh, yeah. It's just, I was just like, yeah, I mean, you're fucked anyway if it locks up on you. And he was just like, oh, yeah, making uh, making fun of a dead guy. And I'm like, eh, that dead guy would have been me, technically. Which, <sighs> he has all of the right points is because he he is right my dad is completely right if this had locked up to me on on the highway i would be dead right now there would be no video there would be just dead silence so you know stuff like that but here's the good part of that night i went out on a date yes the person making this video apparently has a social life which is weird because I don't go out very much at all. So here's what's going on right now with our plan to fix this. So I'm not gonna get a new bike. That's just basic, basic right now because I can fix this. So we ordered a new one of these that come in a set of two. So we're gonna have an extra one. These don't really wear out. They can get clogged and dirty, but they don't really wear out cams um there's no harm to these camshafts cam lobes or anything like that so this cam is going to stay with us now we're going to get that bolt out hopefully and then comes our cam caps this is technically still serviceable but it's just really fugly and we don't want fugly so we're going to keep this one as a spare just in case something like this ever happens. Now, I'm pretty sure once we solve this problem, if it happens again, it's going to be very, very, very bad if this happens again. Because we will have Loctited both all f two, four, six, eight, eight bolts. So, yeah, if this breaks again, we're pretty much, I'm pretty much dead. It does not matter. Uh, this is still serviceable. So... That's okay. Uh, thank God for chain guards. Otherwise, it would have eaten the inside of my valve cover. So, otherwise, we got away scot-free. <sighs> Which is a, it's a good thing. It's a bad thing. It's a thing. Whatever. Not to make light of the situation, but holy shit, I got, I got away scot-free. Um, other than dropping the oil pan, that's the only thing I have to do. I don't have to, I'm pretty sure I don't have to take my carbs off. Stuff like that, stuff, other stuff like that. So, going on to this bike. This is a 2011 Kawasaki 650R. You'll see, ugh, sorry, you'll see that in a separate video. I'll do the bits and pieces there's its custom exhaust I haven't put that on yet but uh you'll get the bits and pieces here and there and then oh <laughs> sorry this kind of goes a little off topic on a rant here someone stole my goddamn 
thing. Honda logo. Thank you. Someone, I parked my bike out yesterday, yeah, or Thursday night, which technically then makes this video a Saturday. Yes, this video is on Saturday. Congrats. Someone came up to it, saw it, and was just like, eh, okay. Popped it off and walked off. Apparently, they tried to also break into my sister's car. That's a whole different thing that I don't want to deal with. But anyway, the Honda will be back. The Honda will be fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is just a major, uh, major question, but, but uh, otherwise, we'll be all good. Stuff like that. See y'all. I know they like this. Every day party until the end of the summer. I probably have my feet up with a drink smoke. We would